Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode on the Hermitcraft Season 6 server. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 163 and I have got just an awesome episode planned today. We're picking our first winner. That's right guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the question of the day. So my question for you today is, you're in charge of the committee who puts new people on Hermitcraft. And as your first job, you have to add a new member to the server who do you add and why let me know down in the comment section below it really lets me know what you guys think if you enjoy this series and you want to see more make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications for when the videos come out let's get into it okay guys so to just get started with today's episode i want to say congratulations to electric robot she is the winner of the first shop for win a shop so thank you guys for all of your submissions so far we have over 27 which is amazing i didn't really think we were going to get that many but thank you regardless it's amazing to see that support there uh and this game is called deadly delights i don't know why i keep calling it a game for it's called deadly it's called deadly delights now the way that she has this set up is that you are going to sell uh potions and kind of those types of things but i really think this is a great opportunity for mysterious stew guys so that's what i think we're going to put in here so to get started we need to go ahead and i'm gonna basically do a step-by-step -step for this because i built this all in creative mode to make sure i was gonna do it right so first thing we gotta do is we gotta pick a center point and then go over so we have a five block gap in the front just like so from there we're gonna go over three one two three fourth we're going five blocks so two three four five same thing on this side there we go and now don't worry if our build is underground or there's blocks missing because we have got to terraform massively after this so step two we are going to be placing blocks on top so we're going to make three then we're going to go on an inside block now the inside bottom parts don't matter but just make sure that you follow the top very closely so uh two forward from there getting rid of this guy because we don't need that there we go and then again two forward from there placing that down so what we're doing is we're making a skull and it's going to be face down so when you're flying over top it can be like really really noticeable and that's one of the reasons why i chose this shop because not only was the build really cool but it was a really cool idea um there we go so three there so that is our first two layers very easily done so now we're going to move on to the third layer so the third layer puts one block here and then we go three on the inside like that um and then going forward one block so you should have a two block tall gap and it looks kind of like a corner piece so from there we are going to go in one block um so and then down two and you should have a pretty pillar corner here from there we're going to be coming in and in again and then forward two so it should line up with your front yellow block there now i'm going to go over five from here let me go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff real fast yeah we got a lot of terraforming ahead of us yeah it's okay though I, I like terraforming so again just you know following the same path that we had now uh the one thing that really really helped me with this build was um being able to make it in creative mode um i like really really went pretty far trying to make you know make sure that i had this all set up properly so um there's something wrong there oh i went too far over see even i make mistakes no i make mistakes all the time i'm terrible at mistakes guys so one two three four five one two one two you should have the big pillar corner back two and then once you have the other side done you can pretty much just kind of fudge it from there and then one block over so that is our third layer so we've got uh three more layers to add but we're gonna do these in very fast succession so um i think the easiest way to do this would be to come over to this corner right here and place one block down there and then make this like this so it's kind of like a little tetris shape doing the same thing on this side get rid of this block there we go there we go 
So you see that? From there, we're gonna have a one block gap and put two blocks on the front here. So remove that one so it should hang over with nothing there. Just like so. There we go. So as you can see it, I'll give you just a look of it real fast, how that looks. All right, now three. And then from up on the top block that we just placed, we're going to come over and span the rest of that gap real fast. So it looks like that. And let me remove this block and I'll just give you a quick look at what that looks like. So you can see it there. So we're starting to take, starting to make the nose and all the other little good bits. So now that we have that finished, we need to, um, from underneath, we need to come back and run this block all the way to the front there. That's just gonna make the nostrils pretty much. Um, and I'm, I trapped myself. Oh no. All right. So now that we have that done, let's go back. And on top of this, we're going to put a block here, go up and over just like that. Um, so that kind of defines the nose shape. And then finally from that three Tetris shape that we made, we're going to make an L shape just like that, leaving the underneath block free doing the same thing on this side. So there, there. Okay, so you see that now. So now what we're gonna do uh, from this right here, we're going to go up one, come all the way back three. There we go. This, um, the first block there will be, trying to make sure I build this right. I'm looking at my picture. <laughs> so five, that should look like an eye right there. There we go. Five on this side. There we go. And then three on the back. So just like that. Let me make sure I did that right because that does look a little off. Um, Maybe. Let me land up here real fast. How does that look? Uh, No, that does look, does look like a skull. There may be a little mistake in there. I'll have to check it out. Okay, guys. So I have worked on this a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and show you the aerial view because looking from down below doesn't really do it justice. So we've got our skull um, and I'll land up here so we can see it a little bit better. So there's our skull. Um, I'm still just kind of working on the terraforming. You'll also notice that there's kind of a black outline as well. Let me go ahead and show you what that black outline is for. Um, so first off, when we come into the shop, there's gonna be a three wide set of blocks that you walk down that are black concrete. And that'll be like right there. And it'll probably go down one or two more blocks from here. There we go. So something like that. Probably not that low though. Probably like right there. Uh, so inside of all of these blocks in here, uh, in which I'll still have to do like a, just a ton of terraforming. And I'll probably even put those underneath of the dirt, I think. Because I want the dirt to be like a crust looking almost. So it would be something like this um then have like a piece of dirt like right there uh and then the black concrete will then splinter out into pieces of the earth up here so like uh dirt there and then maybe a piece of concrete right there and i've got to go around and kind of do that for the whole entire thing and then this entire base piece is going to be filled in with black concrete there we go so that was weird <laughs> something like that right and you'll be able to walk down into it we'll probably we'll probably scoot that back a block um and then same thing in here this will all be filled in with black concrete the, the goal is to kind of black it out right you don't want to be able to see any of this stuff and what we'll do is instead of just you know placing it all right there and making it level we'll make it look a little bit better than that of course uh, and then on top of that, on her build, she has uh, speckles of, where's it at? It's in one of these shocker boxes. She has speckles of brown concrete and brown and black uh, and gray terracotta. So we're gonna do that as well, but all right guys. So the time-lapse was a little bit of a shorter one, I know, but I'm trying to get everything sorted. Um, so we're doing the final touches for the outside stuff now. I went ahead and threw in her gold tooth and some bone blocks into this. Uh, also lightly sprinkling um, 
lightly sprinkling these done now um i don't think doc's thing is anymore uh nhl dragon bouncy yeah he wanted all of the pillars done so what i think i'm probably gonna do is go ahead and move this stuff there we go and we'll put some dirt in there once all this dirt turns into grass things will look a lot better there we go uh fill that in and get rid of that one there we go fantastic so uh there will still be a few spots that we need to terraform now to give you guys a better view of this let's go up here and it's definitely looking like a skull i kind of wanted to the dark black to be overlapping a little bit so i may kind of hide it a little bit but i think it's looking pretty good so far um the one thing i think that we need to do to make it look just a touch better is up here instead of having it uh form around the skull we need to have it come over top that was one of the reasons why i think it was looking kind of funny i wanted it to be almost like a buried skull oh yeah that looks much better that looks a thousand times better just that little transformation okay so now that that's done we need to work on the inside so the game plan for the inside is to have this all blacked out like as black as we can possibly get it there we go oh and i want to put those campfires in too that's why i made the black wool so we'll do that in just a second too there we go so walk in that right there should probably do it um there we go fill all that in don't even know that yeah that should literally be perfect so you'll come in and the room doesn't need to be super big let's go to about right there for now and all of this is going to be uh, just a dark room with some lanterns in it so that's going to look pretty cool i'll probably do that part uh off camera just because you don't need to watch me build a square there we go so next up let's go to a crafting table let's make a crafting table because <laughs> i don't have one. Oh, my inventory is a hot mess right now let's get rid of some stuff there we go so i bought the red wool because i want to dye it black there we go so there's black wool um let's just put this down and make that into carpet there we go so i'm pretty sure i can cover up those uh campfires so campfire and i just need a flint and steel so let me grab flint and i had iron over here flint and steel and then i need to make some iron nuggets there we go we are going to make um i don't see it on there i must have to craft it first then so put that right there uh oh is that not the rest of oh it's a torch that's why it's not working grab a torch um let me go ahead and make a few blocks of coal or a few pieces of coal i was wondering why it wasn't working this will be for the inside there we go so some torches this will be our lanterns for the light source on the inside there we go so there's five of those now campfire time so i'm gonna kind of strategically place these like in the back like probably right here for one um so let's put this down right here and then put a campfire down right there oh it actually lights itself okay i thought i was gonna have to light it and then oh no that okay that still works fantastic and then i want to put another one probably right here cover that up and as you can see i'm trying to kind of frame the skull so we'll put another one what i think i'm probably going to do is get rid of these two and put concrete there as well there we go all right uh let's try like right here i think um i'll put it in the ground right there get rid of this put the campfire down i like these campfires this is i'm pretty sure the first time that i have ever used the campfire there we go and then we'll do one in the back kind of try to line it up with the other one like right here somewhere get rid of that get rid of that put it down right there cover that up fantastic let's take one quick look from the sky once i find my rockets i'm sure i've got 100 rockets around here somewhere so the main thing that i really need to do now is i need to get the inside finished and i need to 
um, uh, finish terraforming the outside. There's still a lot of work to be done. Okay, guys, I'm over at Hermitland. Uh, I am at Idea because I need to make some purchases. So to make the mysterious stew, you need to have flowers. And I really don't have a lot of flowers. So what I'm going to do is buy some. So let me go ahead and get my shocker box ready here. Um, so I'm going to buy probably one of each. Can't open that one. And oh, I can't open that one. It was a slag. All right. So uh, one diamond equals two stacks. So we're going to go around and grab one of each allium that's cool looking so obviously we won't use all these but the cool thing is um we'll be able to mix and match all of the flowers very very well there we go there we go so some of these we probably won't even use now i know you're supposed to use 16 of the flowers we'll see what happens though poppies grab that and there we go. So all the flowers have been purchased and it's all one diamond for two stacks. Perfect. Okay, put these all in there. I also want to look at the other deals real fast and see what we got. The only thing left that we need to do to make the suspicious stew, though, is to get a bunch of bowls and uh, some red and brown mushrooms. Um, so what is he has? Kelp, uh, bone blocks, wool, two stacks for one diamond. These are signs. Uh, these blocks will be sold soon. Then he's got pick and mix, which is okay. Uh, bookshelves. What's this? Leather stands, paintings. That's cool. And item frames. Cool. All right, guys. Weather rose and flower pots. Awesome. So now that I've got these, I'm going to go ahead and head back over to Hermitville or Hermit town i don't know i don't know what the other place is called okay guys so what i have done is made a bunch of mushroom stews uh and then turn or not mushroom stews but uh the mysterious stews and turn them into these chests right here so the game plan here because i want them to be as random as possible right you don't want to put one too many in one chest otherwise people will get you know, you know all the same stews that's no fun so what I've done is I've made a bunch of them and tried to mix them up as best as possible. I've got these shocker boxes here. What we're going to do actually, uh, okay, let's break these first. I'm going to break all of these. There we go. So tons of stew. Going to go ahead and just drop some of these out of my inventory so I can start picking up random ones. And then we are going to fill all these in as much as we possibly can. Although it does seem like it's uh, maybe it's just being the MBT data is being weird or something because I was shift clicking all of them into the same chest before. That's weird that it did again. I wonder if it. Hold on. Huh? So maybe some of those are the same then. I thought it wouldn't pick it up if I did it like that. Huh? OK, well, there isn't much I can do to change that. I can still randomize it a little bit, but. There we go. The chances of somebody taking the same ones out of the same chest game. There we go. I will uh, I will leave a note over there for that because I do want it to be completely random. Okay, grab some more. I'm glad I made enough though. I was a little bit nervous. It does seem very randomized. That's good. I like that. So that one's full. Fill this one in. There we go. Cool, grab some more. Uh -oh, we may not actually have enough. Uh probably not. There we go. Yeah, we're a little short, but I'm out of mushrooms completely. Pretty certain. Let me check. Don't see any in there. I had them over here. I, I was out of brown mushrooms, is the one I ran out of. Yeah, no more brown mushrooms. All right, fair enough. So let's grab our dye and our pickaxe and pick these up because we're going to dye them black. There we go. Uh, I can actually just do this on the table. Put that right there. The reason why I'm dying them black is because I want that room to be as blacked out as possible. There we go. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to love this is going to be a fun shop, I think.
There we go. Okay, so let me check and see. I was looking to see if I had any signs. I'll just use this. There we go. Make some signs. Good deal. Okay, so let's head over there now and finish everything up. Uh, we have to put instructions in. So we're going to call this Deadly Delights. This is what she named the shop. So it's going to be very good. It's huge too. I love it. All right. So down below. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to recommend that um, you just pick randomly. So there we go. There we go. Very dark down here, especially when it's nighttime. So there we go. Awesome. And to make sure that we don't have any empty ones. I think it's only that one and that one. So let's go and grab some out of there. Grab some out of there. There we go. Okay, sign time. So let's put the sign, the first sign right here. Welcome to deadly, deadly, deadly delights. There we go. Um, and then so let's make this really, really easy. We should just say like, um, pick any three stews for one diamond. There we go. Highly suggest switching boxes for each pick. There we go. And then uh, um, leave leave payments in any shocker. There we go. All right, guys. Deadly Delights is now open for business. Congratulations to Electric Robots. I will be looking at other uh, shops to pick and put into the server. Um, and let's take a, a quick grand view of this thing and get all cleaned up out of here. But uh, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for today's video. Oh, it looks really good from here. I'm excited. I hope that I did her build justice. You can find her links in the description. Um, it looks really good though. I like it. I like the gold tooth too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope everybody has a great day. This is I, Jevin. Peace out, everybody.